Hey everyone, this is Michael with the general love reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope that this video finds you well, regardless of whether you are watching for yourself or cross-watching for another individual who has a Leo placement. Uh, I just want to thank all of you who have continued to support this channel with your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. It's with your support that I have been able to continue to put out these messages. So thank you so, so much, especially those of you who have been with me since the very beginning. Uh, it's amazing just how quickly this has grown, and I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so, so much. Um, I do also have other social media for those of you who aren't aware. I post pick a card and general card readings on my Instagram. Um, I also have a blog posts and I even host giveaways for free readings and free distance Reiki sessions. So if you're not subscribed and following my social media, I would definitely do that now so you don't miss your chance to win uh, anything good. <laughs> Um, all of my links are in the description box down below, as well as links to personal readings, distance Reiki sessions, and donations for those of you who feel so called. Uh, before we actually start the reading today, I do just want to give a shout out to my friend Ellie, who has recently started her own channel, uh, The Starlight Archivist. She uh, is an amazing tarot reader. She is actually the person I was trying to convince to start doing YouTube videos, YouTube readings, and kind of worked myself up into it as well, is the funny thing. Um, she's been reading tarot for 10 years, even though she's just starting out her YouTube career, and she is very farsighted. Sometimes I'll get a reading with her, and it won't resonate right away. I'll be like, I don't know about that. And then a couple weeks later, it all ends up coming true anyway. So <laughs> she definitely has a gift for seeing things that you might be missing. Um, I would, I, I highly, highly recommend checking her out. Again, that is the Starlight Archivist. She uh, has her channel, or I have her channel linked on my own YouTube homepage, so you can definitely check that out. It's on uh, the featured channel section. And, and give her some love. She's really an amazing reader, and it's about time that she started doing this. Um, anyways, I'm going to begin our own reading now. Uh, these are timeless messages, uh, regardless of whether you're watching them months or even years from their original post date. Please keep in mind they are also very general and they're not going to apply to everyone. Use your own intuition and discernment to figure out what messages apply to your own life and what should be left behind for someone else. Um, you may also find that the roles are actually switched, so the other person might be your own energy or vice versa. Uh, you are more than welcome to look through previous months or videos for the other signs if you would like a more thorough picture, or again, this one just didn't resonate so strongly. Uh, if you don't know what your moon, rising, or Venus signs are, I actually have a natal chart calculator in the description box down below as well for those of you who would like to have a more thorough understanding of what your astrology is and also what these re what readings to potentially be looking at. Um, and do keep in mind that because these are love readings, they're not necessarily talking about romance. It could even be talking about friendship, family members, or a co-worker. So keep that all in mind as you're watching and just take this energy as it applies. I'm going to start shuffling the deck now. What are the messages for my Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love. What are the messages for Leo? Just going to do a quick shuffle here. Messages for Leo. Show us clearly. What are the messages for Leo? There we go. There's one for love and relationships.
What are the messages for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus regarding love and relationships. Whoops. Just a couple more, please. What are the messages for Leo? There we go. Mm. All right, so overall energy, we have the three of wands. Some of you may be waiting for someone or something to kind of come forward. It feels more like someone for a lot of you. Um, you know, you might have been kind of reaching out to this person and it doesn't feel like they're necessarily reciprocating. Or maybe there's just something in both of your lives that you're trying to go forward with something. You're trying to see into the future here. And you're really waiting for your ships to come in, is the expression with this card. It's like you've set out all of your, your own ships for your trade, they have gone out, and now you're kind of just in this waiting phase. It is the overall energy. And it's really interesting because I, I actually see quite a bit of mirroring on the table. For your fears and worries, we have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords, which to me it's like you know you're waiting for something to come, you're waiting for these swords to fall. This could also be potentially uh, a conflict for some of you, maybe some of you are feeling some sort of tension, but I feel like whatever it is that you're waiting for, whatever it is that's giving you kind of this restless feeling, I do feel like it is coming in. You actually are almost there with this Nine of Wands, but some of you are having a lot of doubt and fear that something isn't gonna manifest or come forward or come through or work out. However that applies, I do see for your person, we have the Sun and the Ace of Wands showing up as their fears and worries, which this is actually your card, Leo. They very much could be thinking about you, or you could possibly be dealing with another Leo, although I'm definitely feeling more like they want to start something with you. They want to start something new and fresh and beautiful, but it's almost like they feel like they can't, and it is bothering them. They are worried about this. They are worried that they're not going to have this, this moment in the sun with you. And I, I see both of you are, are very much looking into the future, and there is kind of this sense of uncertainty. And I do have, as this person's blockage, we have the Hermit. You could possibly be dealing with a Virgo. I do feel like this person is a bit withdrawn. They're a bit closed off right now. Could also be due to something involving a Virgo, but I, I feel like this is kind of just the collective energy at large right now. Even though this is a timeless reading, I am recording it during Virgo season, and it seems like a lot of the people right now are, are really very self-critical. They're having a hard time moving forward, getting out of their own heads, putting things into action. There's a lot of heavy energy there, and I, I'm almost getting the sense that your person is kind of hiding in their shell here. They're being a bit reclusive. Maybe they're doubting their ability to have this Ace of Wands energy or, or to be the sun. That they really... I'm almost getting the self-consciousness with your person. Even if they're confident in other situations, it's like this relationship, there's something that makes them feel uncertain or unsure about themselves. And with your blockage, we do have the Five of Wands. There could just kind of be... It, it's like this chaotic energy. You're not seeing past something. There might be some sort of conflict or tension. And it does feel like there's a lot of tension. There's definitely a lot of wands on the table. And... I almost feel like what you need to be doing 
is kind of releasing, surrendering control a little bit, Leo. Especially if your person or the people around you are kind of stuck in their ego a little bit. There could be power struggles that are happening. Don't engage with that. I see for your like or your recommended course of action, we do have the Six of Pentacles. Focus on where you actually can give, where you will be received, and, and who will give back to you. Focus on that give and take. I do feel like something is fruiting for you as well. This is kind of a, a likely future for you. Something is coming into bloom. You might just need to refocus your energy right now, and maybe even focus on other people. I do see for your person's likely course of action, the star. There is this sense of healing that is going on. I do also see them following their intuition. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Almost taking this leap of faith, following their North Star. And having hope, that's what they need to do. That's kind of what you both need to do. You might have been waiting for something for a while, and it feels hopeless. I feel like there is actually a lot of hope here. And the outcome, the likely future between the two of you, we have the Seven of Wands and the Father of Wands. I feel like, Leo, this is actually your energy. You're just very radiant and shining. You've become this sun in a way. You're not afraid of standing out. You're not afraid of being true to yourself. And it's actually attracting people to you like a beacon. It might be inspiring some or even intimidating others. Maybe your person's a little intimidated by you. But overall, this feels hopeful. Especially if you are dealing with a fire sign. But to be honest, I am getting the sense Even if you're not engaging in a power struggle, it's almost like it's coming to you anyway. And maybe that's what this Four of Swords is telling you to do, to take rest. We were talking about this. Take rest before the swords fall. You know something is coming. You know it's coming. You know it's happening already. And instead of trying to, like, fight for it or force it through with this Five of Wands, just let it grow. Six of Pentacles. That does take time. And I feel like in the meantime, you're actually working on something that brings you a lot of passion. I know this is a love reading, but there is this sense of you here. You're showing up a lot in your own reading. you might need to kind of reach out to this person as well if they're, they're in the hermit energy. But not from this place of trying to change anything, but really just reaching out, seeing how they're doing, trying to help. What is the animal wisdom for Leo? There we go. Turtle. Interesting. We do have some turtle energy here because we had the hermit. And now your advice is turtle. Yeah, this isn't time for you to necessarily withdraw. I feel like you kind of do need to reach out to other people. Branching out is a word I'm seeing a lot, especially with the Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles here. Because Turtle is a very wise spirit, kind of a storyteller. And it's important for this energy to travel 
Otherwise, there's this risk of stagnation. And becoming too withdrawn. If you are together with this person and they are withdrawing from you, you may actually need to take a trip. You may find that going somewhere, even if it's just for the weekend or even for the day, is actually beneficial as well. It kind of opens people up. It gets them out of their shell. Maybe that's the communication that needs to happen. Maybe that's the offer you need to make. Are there any more messages? I'm actually curious. Bottom of the deck. We have the Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. I definitely could see that because we have the Father of Wands on the table. I feel like this is just you embodying this energy for yourself, though. You're almost there. You're almost where you want to be. And it might feel like it's been a long thing coming. You might have lost faith or hope, but I feel like there is hope on the table here. I'm not getting any more messages for you right now, Leo. I do hope that this reading was helpful. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what's going on for all of you. Again, I do have all the links in my description box for personal readings, Reiki sessions, donations, all sorts of good stuff, so check that out. And again, check out my friend Ellie's channel, The Starlight Archivist. Otherwise, I will see you all, got <laughs> I will see you all in the next video. Bye, Leo. Take care.